Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 19, Substituting to Evaluate Addition and Subtraction Expressions. Opening exercise states, my older sister is exactly two years older than I am. Sharing a birthday is both fun and annoying. Every year on our birthday, we have a party which is fun, but she always brags that she is two years older than I am, which is annoying. Shown below is the table of our ages, starting when I was born. Okay, so when I was zero, she was two, I was one, she was three, and so forth. So it says, looking at the table, what patterns do you see? Tell a pattern. Okay, so there's several things you could say here. Um, you could say my sister's age is always two years more than mine. Let's put that. Sister's age is always two years more than mine. There, that's better. <clears throat> I could also say, well, when I increase by a year, she is also increasing by a year, so they're both increasing by one. That's another thing. Okay, so anyhow, carrying on. On the day I turned eight years old, how old was my sister? Okay, so when I'm eight, she's two years older. Eight plus two equals ten years How do I know? She's always two years older than me, so this is my proof down here. Part D says, on the day I turned 16 years old, how old was my sister? Well, 16 plus 2 equals 18. How do I know? Because 16 plus 2 is 18. Okay, always two years old. Do we need to extend the table to calculate these answers? And the answer is... No. Once we find a pattern, we just add two. Okay? Math is all about patterns. So here's example one. My age in years, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, 4, 6. What if you don't know how old I am? Let's use a variable for my age. Let y equal my age in years. Can you develop an expression to describe how old my sister is? Well, if I don't know how old I am, but I know she is two years older, then the expression would be my age y plus two. Okay? So if I put a y here, then this would be y plus two. If I'm 30, she'll be 32. Please add that to the last row of the table, which we have just done. Example two. My age in years, my sister's age. Here it is again. How old was I when my sister was six years old? Okay, so if I use that y plus 2 equals 6, I can always just subtract 2. If I know my sister's age, I can subtract 2 and say, well, I was 4 years old. Okay, it says, how old was I when my sister was 15? And the answer to that would be 15 minus 2, or 13 years old. How do I know? My age is always two years less than my sister. age is always two years less than my sister. Okay. So, I haven't done this last thing. If my age is y, my sister's age, I could use a different variable. Um, it doesn't matter unless you know your sister's name. How about just S minus 2? Her age is S. OK, 
Okay, now it says, look at the table in example two. If you know my sister's age, can you determine my age? Yes. It's the age minus two. Now it says, if we use the variable g for my sister's age in years, what expression would describe my age in years? g minus two. Fill in the last row of the table. So now I've got to go back and let me get rid of this s and use what they asked for. So my age is two years less than hers. If hers is g minus g minus two. I'm filled in the last row. With a partner, calculate how old I was when my sister was 22, 23, and 24. Well, if I, I use that g minus 2 equals 22. Okay, so my sister was 22. g minus 2 is my age equals my age. Um, then I can plug in this 22 minus 2 and get 20. I can take that g minus 2 and say 23 minus 2 and get 21. Take 24 minus 2 and get 20. Okay? So, on and so, so exercise 1 says Noah and Carter are collecting box tops for their school. They each bring in one box top per day starting on the first day of school. However, Carter has a head start because his aunt sent him 15 box tops before school began. Noah's grandma saved 10 box tops, and Noah added those on his first day. Fill in the missing values that indicate the total number of box tops each boy brought to school. Okay, so they're each bringing one every day, and if Noah has 10, the first day he brings one of his own, that's 11. And adding one every day is just simply going to be this. So after the five days, after the first week of school, his grandmother gave him 10, he brought 5, told him 15, and his buddy Carter had 15 plus the one he brought every day, so that would be 17, 18, 19, and 20. So if we let D be the number of days since the new school year began, on day D of the school, how many box tops will Noah have brought up to school? So here's Noah. Remember, he started with 10, and then if you add the number of days after, then he brought 10 plus these box times. I could also write B plus 10 as well, and I will explain why we do that at another time. It's always better to have the variable first. So on day D of school, how many box tops will Carter have? D for number of days plus the 15 that is and on day 10 of school how many box tops will Noah have brought to school so we're going back to the equation for Noah which is D plus 10 on day 10 you will have 20 box tops okay on Day 10 of school, how many box tops will Carter have? Well, Carter's is this one. So Carter has D plus 15 box tops. On day 10, D is 10. 10 plus 15 equals 25 box tops. Okay, so in math, rather than sitting there and counting how many days and saying plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, we can now substitute in a value for a variable. So, example two. Each week, primary school recycles 200 pounds of paper. The intermediate school also recycles the same amount, but had another 300 pounds left over from summer school. So they had 300 pounds left over. And the primary school recycles 200 pounds of paper each week. Okay? The primary school, intermediate school. The intermediate school custodian added these extra 300 pounds to the first recycle. So we're going to fill in the week. So we start with week one, two, three, four, and week five. Total amount of paper recycled by the primary school is this school year in pounds. So for the primary school, they recycle 200 pounds of paper. So we start with nothing. Week one, we have 200. 
and we add 200 to the 200, we get 400. Plus 200 is 600, plus 200 is 800. And after day week five, we have 1,000. On the other hand, the intermediate school had 300 pounds that were added by the custodian the first week, and they add 200 pounds every week, but they add that 300, so the 200 plus the 300 they already had is starting at 500 and adding 200 every time. We'll just add 200 to our total. Struggling this morning with my pen. Okay, so we have 1,100 and then 1,300. It says, if this trend continues, what will be the total amount collected for each school on week 10? So the definition or the formula for this would be the number of weeks one, 200. Number of weeks two, 400. We can keep counting. So 200 times 5 is 1,000. 200 times 10 is 2,000. I'll do that when I call it. So for the primary school, it will be 2,000 pounds. That's for the primary school. For the second, or the intermediate school, we started with 300 and then we went 10 days of 200 pounds a day or a week 10 times 200 is 2000 plus that initial 300 and that'd be 2300 pounds okay example three shelly and Kristen sherry birthday shelly's five years older Make a table to show their ages every year beginning when Kristen was born. So this is Kristen. Okay. And this is Michelle. Start when Kristen was born is zero. And then go up to age four. Okay. I'll go over to Shelly now. Chris was zero, Shelly was five years older, zero plus five is five, one plus five is six, two plus five is seven, and so on. So there's our table. So when Kristen was four, Shelly was nine. If Kristen is 16 years old, how old is Shelly? So I see a pattern here. It's Kristen's age plus five equals Kristen's age plus five equals Shelly's age. So if Kristen is 16, we substitute in 16 for the K, we add 5, we get Shelly's age, which is 20. If Kristen is K years old, how old is Shelly? That's right here. Shelly is K plus 5. If Shelly is S years old, how old is Kristen? So now we're taking that K plus 5 equals Shelly. How old is Kristen? So we want to get K by itself. We would have to subtract 5 from both sides. When we do that, we get these to cancel. And we get K equals Shelly's age minus 5. Okay, that is the end of lesson 19. Go do your problem set.